Except in circumstances which are beyond their control, we are going to make sure that airlines treat their passengers with the respect they deserve and live up to their commitments. And if they don't, they'll pay a price directly to customers. $125 to $1,000 for flight delays and cancellations, but bad weather and maintenance problems don't count. $900 to $2,400 for bumping passengers due to airline overbooking seats, and up to $2,100 for damaged or lost luggage. There are other new rules, too, that don't involve compensation, such as clear communication about flight delays and cancellations, letting parents sit with their children without paying an extra fee for selecting a seat, and better treatment during long tarmac delays with provisions for food and drink, as well as good ventilation and working washrooms. A uh, passenger who feels that their rights have been infringed has 120 days to report it to the airline, and the airline must then respond within 30 days. And from there, if it's not resolved, the complaint could be heard by the Canadian Transport Agency. So this may sound like progress, but what do passengers and the industry think? Jacqueline Hansen has the reaction. Where is it? At Canada's busiest airport, travelers know firsthand that flight delays can have a domino effect. By the time it gets here, assuming that that time is right, on the other end it's going to be worse. It's terrible because once I lost my connection, so I had to actually take another plane the following day. The proposed rules would limit some extreme cases, like last year when passengers on two Air Transat planes in Ottawa boarded and waited to take off for six hours. It was like over, I think, 30 degrees in that airplane and they ran out of water at one point and it just got ridiculous and you're just like, how is this possible? Under the new rules, the maximum would be three hours. I'm glad that the actions are being taken. Clearly, severe circumstances can happen, but like, you have to think of the passengers first. Consumer advocates are also hopeful the proposed payouts for bumping passengers could incentivize airlines to stop overbooking flights. But a group that represents Canadian Airlines says most delays are caused by weather conditions or safety issues and are out of the control of carriers. One of the problems with the approach that the government took is to, you know, point the finger at the airlines, create this narrative where the airlines are, you know, are wearing the black hat and pretend that you can fix this through legislation. And the cost of compensating passengers could come out of the pockets of all travelers. Like any business, when, when anybody institutes something new, whether it's taxes or whatever, the consumer ends up paying for it. For some flyers, that's not worth it. I would rather have my flight than getting compensation for it. Even though the bill is out before the holiday rush, this is just the first draft. Now Canadians have 60 days to weigh in and the new rules aren't expected to be in place until the summer. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto. Perhaps you've had a bad experience with an airline and you wouldn't be alone. Over the past five years, formal complaints to the Canadian Transportation Agency have spiked. So as the holiday travel season ramps up, we've put our red chair out at Vancouver International Airport and invited travelers to take a seat and speak out. You want me to sit, right? Well, hang on two seconds till we're rolling. Okay. Makes sense for you? Mm. Air travel, dream or nightmare? Nightmare. Air travel, dream or nightmare? Dream or nightmare. It was a nightmare. Air travel. Dream or nightmare? I think as any consumer that, uh, that travels frequently on airlines, you've had both horrific and fantastic experiences. I love it. It's a dream. Um, but I did have a pretty bad experience not too long ago where we got stuck due to weather, but there wasn't really any weather. I couldn't figure it out. I was flying home, I hadn't been home for Christmas in two years, the, the flight was overbooked and I wasn't able to get a flight for another two days and that was really precious vacation time to see my parents. Instead of flying to Rome, we, they sent us to Madrid, then Madrid to Rome, it was a nightmare. A travel dream or nightmare is a nightmare at times.
my nightmare was a luggage. At one point, I was going to Australia and my, I, my luggage got lost. My luggages were transferred to another airline. It got lost without any notifications. There should be more compensation than waiting for about two or three days. They can't lose my bag. I mean, that is the worst thing ever. Don't lose my bag. Um, but if it should be lost, it's got to be compensated totally because the bag sometimes is worth more than what they compensate you for, but not let alone all the stuff that's in there. I think the really, really important thing is, is for the airlines is to uh, communicate, let people know what's going on, uh, and to provide those updates without interrupting the movies that are playing too often. Good. All right. <laughs> Wonderful job. Is that good? <laughs>